Welcome back to Flywheel Films, everybody. I'm Jackson, your host for today. We're here with the NC2. Drove it all the way from Colorado. Whoa, really whoa. long drive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? This, this, bro, oh. this is my channel. This is my channel. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But you did a good job. Thanks. Guys, this is Jackson from Colored and Light. How's it going, guys? The other huge NC Miata channel with that guy. Um, and he's, so when did you get this, by the way? I got this in 2000, it's a 2011, and I got it in 2014. So I've had it for six years, over six years. Wow. I can't remember the exact dates, but I've had it for a while. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot longer than I've had mine. How long have you had yours? I uh, got this in 2019, and yeah, but I got my first NC in 2016, but you still okay. need the NC. Okay, okay. But I have been a long time fan of your channel. Well, and thank you. Actually, part of that inspired me to start my channel, and I was like, "Awesome, let's just do more NC Dude, Miata that's, stuff." That's what it's all about. There's not enough Miata stuff. There's not really. Um, there's not. Yeah, if you're if you're out there and you have an NC, go make some videos, share them out. Yeah. So we are basically gonna do a big meet. So the NC is like the unloved Miata, I would say. Yeah, everyone calls it a boat for some reason, and dude, boats are awesome. <laughs> I love my boat. I love my boat. But yeah, yeah, it's 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 the least loved. This like, thing is sick. Yeah. It would take us 45 minutes to do a full build walk around. So just check out his channel. He's done some really, really solid content on this, but I will kind of take you around the outside. Briefly, you can see all the things he's done to the hood, the fenders, just kind of chop things away, you know, weight reduction, more or less. <laughs> Fat old wheels. You got nines on the front, right? Nine and a half uh, on the rear. Nines on the front, nine and a half rear. Yep. Crazy. The fender flares on the rear, which I thought would look so dumb until I saw it in person. And it's like, actually that works. Like that same they do. look is kind of on the front naturally. So you yep. just added that on the rear. Yep. And so, and I mean, the only reason why I did it was because someone hit me. An uninsured driver hit me and uh, I had no choice but to cut it, cut it out. Just cut out the dents and threw the fender flares on. So yeah, it works. It is what it is, but it works. And then the, uh, the all new removable hard top, the RHT. Yep. Carbon fiber, removable hard top. It's, it's all right, it's like, as far as fitment, it's like 90%. Uh, quality is maybe like a seven out of 10. But, I mean, keeps it off my bald head, keeps the sun <laughs> out of my bald head, so it works. It works for what I need. I just needed a roof, so that's what I got. Yeah, looks fantastic. It is 2.5 swapped, right? 2.5 so cam <laughs> intake, I mean, it's, it's pretty basic, but it's way, it's a, just a different car than it was with the 2.0 and no tune or anything like that. So really, really nice to drive and fun to get around in. Yeah, great power down here. Yeah. Um, roll bar. I mean, this is so far from stock, yet it's obviously an <laughs> NC the moment you see it. Definitely. So despite the NC hate, we decided, or I guess because of the NC hate, we decided we would host a pop-up meet. Um, me and Jackson and our friend Ahmad, who is at Modifications on YouTube, another channel you should check out. Um, hopefully he puts some NC content on there eventually. Yeah. We're, <laughs> but, tired, we're tired of the Kia EV6. I've seen it self-park like three times now. Yeah. And if I have to see another one of those videos, I think I'm going to unsubscribe from it. Yeah. So. And then he went and bought a Golf R, which is... Who I know. Who, who buys who, Golf? Who <laughs> Golf. <laughs> what kind of idiot would buy a Golf? I mean, ah, man. Yeah. You hang out with some weird people, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but we're going to go have a Miata meet, which now that I think about it, pop-up wasn't the best name for a Miata meet trying to say how cool NCs are because that's true. That's NA things. Um, but we're just going to hang out with a bunch of Miata people. Miata meets are great because everyone loves everything. Respect all builds, you know, Yeah. it's just, uh, you know, you can have this guy, someone retired who has their first like huge, expensive, expensive roadster right out of retirement they'll buy like the nicest possible RF yeah. fully loaded. And then you got kids who are like just turning 16 by their first shit box. Um, but we're not, yeah, everyone loves everything. Yeah. Although it, like imagine not being able to put your top down. That would, I mean, it's, it sucks, but <laughs> it's at least for the summer, at least for the summer it's staying on. But yeah, I mean, it, if you guys aren't in Texas, I mean, in, in DFW, there's like a huge Miata like following. There's so many people here that like Jordan said, just love the Miata and, there's meets every Wednesdays where we were just at one this last week and it's, you know, NA, NB, NC, ND. Everyone's there and everybody asks each other about their cars. Like everyone has something interesting going on with it. So yeah, the Miata people, super cool. And as you can see, it's, you know, cross country, everybody hanging out. So 
Yeah, we blasted good this thing around the internet. We're expecting probably at least 40, 50 Miatas, honestly. I think so. I think there's gonna be at least 50. Yeah. At least 50. Yeah. Super excited. But yeah, we'll do some more uh, videos walking around there, but uh, just wanted to show you guys a quick duo. We're gonna grab some photos really quick and bomb over to whatever, wherever we're going. Bikes. Uh, there, <laughs> there goes a dead guy. <laughs> Yep, off to Carrollton. Let's yep, go. Let's go. <laughs> Heck yeah. We have a turnout. Not 50. Um, maybe not even 10. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not. <laughs> Nine Miatas, uh, because Ahmad is not here yet. It is, he is half an hour late. He said he'll be another half hour or so. You know, I guess uh, his daughter comes first, which is valid, but we'll see him pretty soon. Uh, anyways, let me walk you down the line because we have quite the turnout. Oh, by the way, there's some colored and light behind the scenes. <laughs> anyways, yep, yeah, blue uh, NC. Uh, someone brought their 4x4 here. Look at that fitment. That is bone stock. Beautiful NC1. I think 2007, which is the exact same car I had at first. Then we have a highly modified NC1. Love that. Both power trackable hardtops. Of course, Ghosty. Jackson's beautiful car. Got a nice British Racing Green NB back there in the corner. Um, and another British Racing Green in a Unos. So, of course, right hand drive. This thing is sweet. Beautiful, nardy shift knob and wheel, just like Austin had before. Wish he hadn't sold that. Also, this thing is super cool. And then an AutoZam AZ1. I finally got to see one in person. Another right-hand drive beauty. AutoZam, of course, being one of the older sub-brands of Mazda before they discontinued it in the 90s. But super cool car. Actually has gold wing doors, which is just crazy. Another NB right here. Sweet wheels. Uh, love the bronze touches on wheels. That's that's definitely what I want. Beautiful Texas sunset. A couple more NCs over here, NC3s. This one is absolutely just mint condition. Look at those beautiful, dark, uh, metallic, machined, bright RPF1s. Of course, more RPF1s over there. RPF1s everywhere. This thing is awesome. Chocolate interior. Love that. And this thing is set up like a race car. Single exit exhaust. He deleted the, enti the entire trunk pretty much. Deleted the passenger seat, which is actually a great idea for my traveling, I would think. Race seat, racing wheel. Delete, just deleted everything. Just, you know, less is more. Sweet setup in there. This is probably a hoot on track. Got that roll bar. Um, yeah. Of course, Fiesta ST. We made Austin Park over there because he was intruding on the Mazda meet. I, we didn't specify who could come or who couldn't, other than we just said Miatas. Although I was really hoping a Fiat 124 Spider would show up. So this is what a 2.5 swapped engine bay looks like. Jackson has overdone himself. Uh, he asked me not to show anyone the underside of his hood, but look at that. <laughs> but the top looks freaking awesome, which is what matters, because that's what everyone's seeing. Even these vents on the side, it just looks like the most aggressive thing. Driving here with him behind me, I just kept looking in my mirror, probably to the point where it was dangerous. This car looks so good. Um, and he has so many videos on how to do like all of that and all of this. 
And if you've been tracking his build, he's had different wheels. He's done his fender rolling slightly differently than mine. He had this wrapped at one point. He's had spoilers and no spoilers. He's done a lot of fun things with this car. Um, so that's where I've done most of my NC research. I start with his channel and then go to the forums and such from there. Loving the beautiful sunset out here and watching him film is pretty fun. <laughs> Right, so people are starting to, or have left, basically. People have left. Yeah, and uh, but Ahmad finally showed up, so. Yep. <laughs> basically, Ahmad showed up, everyone else left. That's how it usually goes. He was late, but better late than never. Um, he hobbled here with his broken. His broken Miata. He thinks it's broken. What do you think? Ahmad thinks everything's broken on his car. But at the <laughs> end of the day, at the end of the day, he's got a supercharged 2.0 that's super nice. And that's legit. If you're watching this, Ahmad, just unplug your VVT and see if the ticking goes away because I think that's what it is. You heard but it here first. You, uh, no, he heard it Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> he heard it Wednesday. And he's done nothing about it. No, no, yeah. it's yeah. His his car's super cool. Uh, a lot of a lot of like really different cars showed up. I mean, you guys saw we had the the Auto Zam, NA uh, Unos Roadster. I mean, it was like we pulled up and then all of a sudden there was just all these cars here and it was super cool. So it's cool. So yeah, not quite. Not quite the 50 no. <laughs> we thought. I guess maybe that's the Miata meet tomorrow that I just now heard about. Yeah, there's there's a big one tomorrow, but I think we did all right for- had, Yeah, like a dozen. Posting, you know, we posted it, what, Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, and yeah. no one responded or anything, so we didn't know if anyone was gonna come and- Which I would have been fine with. I was like, yeah. oh, it'll just be us three, ex old, uh, I guess us, and then Ahmad an hour later. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, so I guess the cops showed up, but not to do anything. They actually said, hey, this is a cool spot for a meet because you have lights, it's very safe. Um, they were asking what the hell the AZ1 was. <laughs> and they were like asking car. about all the cars and they're like, awesome, have a great day. Oh, by the way, you should go check out this brewery downtown. And they left and I was like, sick, okay. All right. Next time, next time we're going to the brewery though. Yeah. Next time. Um, but all I can think of while I'm here sitting between Imad's and Jackson's is my freaking wheels, which we did a whole podcast with Imad yesterday on basically why I've, delayed this so much but i need to get over it bite the bullet just how many, yeah how many sets of wheels have you been through <laughs> this is not including stock this is my third set wow and i've progressed from like cheap shit shit to rpf1 wheels that are you're so original jackson yeah i you know <laughs> I Actually, am, you're the only stanced, or wait, staggered, that's the word, staggered RPF1 I've ever seen on Miata. Yes, and, and everyone will tell you, you're, you ruined the Miata's handling with the staggered setup. It's ruined. Um, every time I go to the track, I, I skid off. I mean, you guys have seen the videos. I, I spin out all the time. The staggered setup is just, it's so bad, but no, it's, it's really fine. It's really not a big deal. I, I like it. I could, the offset on the rear could be a little bit better, but uh, for now, it's, it's good for what it is. It's not bad. Yeah. Looks really solid. The hard top, of course, making its meat debut. Or I guess you had this Wednesday, didn't you? I did, yeah. yeah. Just awesome carbon fiber. I, yeah, really dig it. Although we were just talking about our blind spots with the top up. Yeah, you can't, you can't see anything. The <laughs> mirror, the mirror is useless. The rear view mirror is useless. And you gotta get like a digital rear view mirror from like a Chevy that. Bolt. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking I was gonna go extra JDM and get the, uh, like the big oh, one, yeah, the, yeah. Big, the big vanity mirror. Yeah. I thought that would be super cool. So stay tuned for that video, guys. Yeah. If you don't follow Colored and Light, go yeah. follow Colored and Light. YouTube and Instagram. Um, of course, my Instagram, if you are under a rock, is ghosty.miata. And then Imad's, that's Imad right there. He is Imodifications. Finally set on a uh, Instagram username. His Instagram name changed like every few days because he keeps um, buying different cars. He does, yeah, he keeps buying different cars. But Imodifications, that is, that's a pretty good name. Yeah. Pretty good name. Thanks for joining us on this super fun, impromptu, fairly impromptu Miata meet. Um, and finally the three together at last. Um, and I just need more mods, so. You'll get there. See you next one. See ya. What a meet. Of course, Rainer showed up in his GTR. 
Uh, but yeah, great, good turnout. I mean, small, but like, honestly, the small meets are kind of fun. Uh, but we are heading to Rodeo Goats just to get some food. Last minute stuff, Jackson had to run home, but it was awesome to have Jackson, Imad, and myself all in the same place because we've talked so much online. It's like we finally got to meet. Um, truly a fan. Just a couple NC Miatas, a GTR, and a Fiesta ST. An unsightly bunch. <laughs> Anyways, check this out. I'm about to hit 80,000 miles. So, reminds me, I need to do my 50,000 mile update because I bought this right at about 30,000 miles. What a great car. Um, I'm starving. Thanks for watching. Good night. I'm stuck behind this Altima doing five under the speed limit.